Good morning, good morning, good morning. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Welcome back to another FGL beginner guide where we're focusing on outlaw troopers. And in this episode, we're going to focus on the normal encounters, which is going to be very critical when you're playing the game. This is the skill based version of it. It's also a lot of strategy involved with it. And most importantly of all, it raises you up that leaderboard so you can get higher seasonal rewards, weekly rewards. The more encounters that you do and that you're successful with, the better rewards that you're going to get at the end of the season. So let's go ahead and walk through the normal encounters. In order to get to the encounters, you're going to go ahead here at the top where it says combat related and click on encounter. There are two options here. There's the robot one, which we talked about in the last video. This is the basic one that gives you artifacts that allow you to do upgrading. Uh, it gives you minimal rewards, but doesn't include any of your, your, your spaceships or your troopers or really any of your gears in the robot encou robotic encounters. We're going to focus on the normal encounters because what this does is it gives you a lot of rewards for it, plus a lot of reputation uh, as you get higher and higher and higher in the tiers. It does cost you the access keys, which you can get through uh, the missions and the companions, or you can go ahead and buy them on the secondary or the black market within the game. Um, but let's go ahead and click on here. Uh, it does cost you, like I said, the, the keys plus FGL to go ahead and get them. Let's take a quick look at here. Um, there's a number of different things on the top here. There would also be the, a banner that pops up once the season starts that there's a specific one for the season itself. Uh, but what we're going to focus on is here. On the right side, it shows you for Tier 12, these are the reward possibilities that I'm going to get when I open a map. Uh, there is everything from the in-game credits, the ores, and the gears that I can go ahead and get in different nodes. Uh, also, there's a small chance that I'll go ahead and get the mini boss, and the mini boss gives you FGL or NFTs if you go if you're able to beat that. And then if you're able to unlock uh, the, the Ender, the the crown here, the final final cube or <laughs> final area, you'll get a big result as far as in this case I'll get 80 million of the credits. Uh, I'll also be able to lock the next tier, which is the 13th tier, and every single Every single box, I'm going to scroll down here and actually show you, every single one of these boxes for the tier 12 is going to give me 24 plus reputation depending on your traits and the gear that you have available. Um, so every single one of these, I'll be able to upgrade my my reputation and my level a little bit, which will get me higher on the leaderboards. So lots of great results for that. So that's, those are the rewards that I can get here. Um, let me just show you the difference between tier 1 and tier 12. If I click on tier one, it's much lower. I can't get any reputation. I get very minimal rewards. Uh, but as you go up tier five, you start getting reputation. So be aware of that you need to get all the way to tier five in order to be able to get reputation in order to allow you to level up. And then if you jump all the way to 12, uh, much better rewards. And as I continue to go through, you can see there's a lot of different tiers on here. The rewards will jump up and up and up and up. You need the, the the troops, the higher tier troops, the higher tier gear. So you work up that throughout the, throughout the season. So let's go down here to the bottom here uh, and show you this different parts. In order to run tier 12, it's going to cost me two of the access keys and 40 FGL. So so an influx of FGL is going to be important uh, as you continue to go through here. Every time I go up a tier, it costs me a little bit more, whether it's access keys or FGL. So be aware of that. And it shows you what you have available as far as discount keys and your, your access keys. If you have a discount key, that means it costs the keys alone and doesn't cost the FGL. Uh, and then let's look down here. A new feature with Season 5 is the fact that you're able to re-roll both the tiers that you have or the mode. You can go between an easy mode and a hard mode. Uh, hard mode is going to give you better results or better rewards. Uh, easy mode, you actually have a, a uh, it's a negative bonus. They call it bonus, but it's a really, it's it's a deficiency. Um, it's 30% less, less credits and 30% less reputation. So if you are, if you have the troops and you have the skill high enough, you can go ahead and switch to hard mode and it's going to give you better results. Um, you can also re-roll it if you, if you don't like this. There's, I, I haven't seen a point yet to re-roll the easy mode yet. Uh, but maybe down the road there'll be a reason for it. The hard mode is is where you're going to have to re-roll in there. And then on the right side here is the map. Ba basically what we're trying to do is get to this crown here and go through all the different tiers. I'm not sure if I'll start here or, or where I'll start. Maybe I'll start here or here. 
uh, and then you'll just work through it. If you're not happy with the map itself, you can go ahead and re-roll that and it gives you a different map. There's a whole bunch of different percentages as far as what comes up. Not something you need to worry about right now. So when we jump in here, uh, you're going to see uh, the map go on the left here. Uh, if I click on any of these empty squares, it's going to be a very easy, easy square to go ahead and beat because it's usually one spaceship, especially the level I'm at. Um, so you can go ahead and just work through here and get the reputation. Or if you want to get gears, these squares show the gears. This square shows in-game credits and then ores. So it all depends on what you're trying to get here. Normally in this early stages, I'm trying to get reputation. If I get some bonuses along the way, that's even better. Uh, so we'll go ahead and jump in there and I'm going to show you the different areas. Uh, once I first jump in here, um, I'm going to have to go ahead and select my ship, my, my troops, or my one troop, and the gears that are going to go along with it. So you can go ahead and just click on here and select whatever ship that you want. You can use any ship, whether it is a virtual ship that you have uh, that we got out of the terminal, which we showed in the last video, or if you want to go ahead and use a ship from Cosmic Clash, if you have ships there, they give you a, a higher bonus if you use the, the Cosmic Clash ships. I have a rare Cosmic Clash ships, so it gives me a 100% bonus. This one's a virtual uh, in-game through Outlaw Troopers, and it only gives me, a, it's an epic, and only gives me 40. So you can see the, the higher bonus uh, with the, the Cosmic Clash ships that we have here. Uh, and then you have the troopers here. You can go ahead and select any of your troopers. The higher the troopers, the higher the number of gears you can go ahead and put out there, uh, and just better, better uh, efficiency and rewards that you have from the gears. And then the gears that are available here. The nice thing that they also added is you can reuse a recent setup. Uh, this is the setup that I like to use now that I, I was able to upgrade one of, a couple of my gear. So all I have to do is go ahead and click on load and it automatically loads everything in here that I want to go ahead and use. We're going to click on this just to show you. Uh, you can go ahead and um, depending on the level of trooper you have, you'll have more or less of these slots for your gear. You also see that hotkeys have been added. You can adjust these when you're in game. I'll quickly show you that. Uh, it's new for this season, but these are the hotkeys. If you don't like those, again, we can go ahead and change, and you can go ahead and change any of your gears that you want there. In order to use uh, the higher tier gears, uh, epic and above, you need to be a certain level in the game in order to be able to do that. Um, I'm able to do that because I think it's over five or it's over 10. I forget which one it is for Epic, but we're going to go ahead and throw that one in there. Uh, and every gear that you put in there, it does uh, increase your gear score. So you have to keep it within the range. I have 500 for this uh, Epic Trooper. It's normally 300 for Epic Trooper, but I went through an upgrade uh, to bump it up to 500. That's why it's a little higher than it normally is for this one. Uh, and I'll do a separate video on the upgrade process. Um, so let's go ahead and confirm that. So we are using that. So now we have a, a higher tier wingman and we're going to go ahead and confirm the deployment, which allows us to jump into this encounter. All right. Once you jump into the encounter, it's going to jump you right in the game. It says it's paused, uh, but as soon as you click on pause, it jumps you in there. Uh, these are the different gears that you have at the bottom here. I'm going to go ahead and pop my wingman out since this guy's already rushing towards me. And we're going to go ahead and use uh, the different tiers here. So now that that's paused, um, you can see the map that I have going on here. I started here. My goal is to go all the way around and get to here in order to finish up the tier and get the overall rewards for this, this level. Um, if I get there, I get to I open up the 13th tier and I get all the rewards. Even if I end up here and lose, I'll still get the rewards that I've earned so far through it. All right, and it gives every time you go to another box, it increases the, the difficulty, but it also increases the rewards. Down on the bottom here are, is something that you're going to want to keep an eye on. These are the gears that we added. We have the constructor, which builds a turret for me. We have the laser beam, and we have the wingman. These are all gears that I added in that previous screen that I showed you. And these three are all default. Um, you have the auto repair, uh, which regenerates both your shield and your armor. Um, you have the hardening or hardened shell, uh, which uh, it reduces the incoming damage for five seconds. And this one, which I use all the time, um, stuns the enemies within a circle uh, for three seconds. Uh, the cooldown's at 30 seconds. Or, or you can see the description when I highlight the different gears over there if, you want, if you're not sure. I did mention that you could uh, go through the process of resetting your 
uh, your um, hotkeys. If you go ahead and click on settings here, it gives you the option to go ahead. All you have to do is click on here and then type the key that you want to change it to. Uh, and then it goes ahead and changes. I kept it at Q just to keep it in the same way because I'm used to that. Uh, you can surrender here. I don't suggest it uh, unless you're, you need to leave for some reason and you want your rewards. Uh, but we'll go ahead and close panel. So what I'm going to do now is you saw the rewards I got from this first cube. It was a very easy one because it was an empty cube. There's only one ship I had to go ahead and destroy. But I earned 26 Empire Reputation. But because I'm in easy mode, uh, it reduced it. So I reduced it by 7 uh, from the Reputation. and There wasn't any credits there. So it would have been reduced. So the next thing I'm going to go ahead and do is the next box here, which is going to give me some gear. Um, I'm going to use the hotkeys I'm, as I'm going through this. Uh, and let's go ahead and click on that. As soon as you click on it, they start popping up. So you got to be ready for it. Um, so we'll go ahead and I, I'm just we'll go after this guy here and go ahead. The, the beam, the better thing is to do to make sure is there, there's more in the range there. Uh, go ahead and do another robot or another turret. And moving around helps out quite a bit with these. So we'll go ahead and now I'll use the stun um, to kind of stun those. Can, pop another turret up, which is a healing turret. And these turrets stay there. They can't be destroyed, uh, which is super nice for that round. So as you can see, I got four gear out of that. I got some more reputation. It's all cumulative, so it adds up every time you do a node. Uh, and then it shows you the reduction here. So the next I'm going to go ahead and do is the, the one here. I'm going to go through the same process. Only one's going to pop up. So I actually right now have a very easy path to the end of this level. Um, I can just go through here and get all the way up there just by using one. So it's, it's going to be a big reputation builder for me, which is great. I like that, especially when I'm building reputations. So we're going to go through this pretty quickly. I'm, I'm not going to uh, bore you with a lot of details. I want to just show you uh, going through one of the encounters. Um, so I'll try and go. You see, I got still got four gears and then added the reputation to it. Uh, and this last one, just so, to warn you, especially if you're you're new to this. Uh, the last square that we have going on here is, is going to be tough. Uh, I'm most likely going to lose, especially since I have to go through each of these boxes. And every time you go through a box, it increases the encounter difficulty. I'll get all the reputation that I earn, but uh, it's also going to make that last one super hard uh, because I have to go through uh, all these others to get there. I'm just going back to my box. Um, so as you can see, I'm clicking on here, and it's going to have 150 difficulty for this one. So it's going to make it a little bit harder. And then we'll just keep on chugging through. Uh, the, these are, seem to be my favorite so far. I like the turret option because the cooldown is very quick. Uh, they last the entire box. Um, so here I'm going to be using a lot of them. Uh, I like the laser beam because you can give a really hard hit from far away. And obviously the wingman, uh, because you have an extra ship that helps you helps you fight, um, and can go through that way. Uh, there's also minions too, which is another gear which I haven't gotten yet this season, uh, which gives you some additional uh, ships that help you along the way too. So a lot, there's a lot of cool gear out there. You really look for the gear that that really fits your fighting style, um, and then you can see I'm right before the end now. Difficulty is 225%, so I am pretty sure I'm going to lose this last one. But the good thing is I'm going to get all this. I'm going to get the four gear. I'm going to get the 234 reputation, uh, but I won't get the rewards from this if I lose. Um, if I win, then I'm going to go ahead and get an extra uh, reputation for each of the cubes. Plus, I'm going to get 152 million in-game credits and unlock the next one. So let's go ahead and give it a try. I'm not super high on this one. I don't, I don't think it's going to be. The results that I want, but we'll go ahead and try. So initially, I'm going to go ahead and right away and throw down a turret. We're going to go after this overseer pretty quickly. And every time I can go ahead and throw down a turret, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and stun, throw a turret down. See, there's just a lot in here. Uh, this is going to be tough. I'm going to lose this pretty quick because the difficulty is so high. So go ahead and throw another turret down. But yeah, ooh. So my wingman just boosted up everything I have there. Let's go ahead and do that too. Give me another, oops, give me another R, another turret. That's a healing turret that I just dropped. I can go ahead and do a laser beam. 
which will take a big hit and go ahead and do another oops another stun uh, which helps out another turret so you can see this gets uh, pretty intense pretty quickly here we can go ahead and pop down another wingman go ahead and do bam bam try and get my armor and health up drop another turret get closer to these healing turrets <laughs> And I'm actually, I think I'm in pretty good shape now as long as my wingman sticks around, but he's not going to stick around. Uh, so go ahead and drop another turret. And I only have this, oh, I got two guys left. Uh, we'll go ahead and do a laser beam after him. And there we go. I ended up winning that. Even though it was 225 extra uh, difficulty, I got lucky. I got, a f I got one big regeneration that, that really helped me because I was almost gone for that one. But you can see I, I cleared the encounter out of 152 th million credits. Uh, I, they did remove the, the easy easy bonus, or they keep calling it bonus, but it's uh, the easy mode. Um, and then I got four gears and I got a lot of reputation out of it. So it did boost me up quite a bit. And that's the encounter. And you can go ahead and continue to run. You see it opened up 13 for me. Uh, so the next one I get a, a bonus uh, with the the reputation which I'm, I'm pushing for I get the bonus with the gears uh, and then I, you can keep going through uh, you see the map down here it's a much smaller map I'll, I'll end up starting here and if I really want to I'll just go right across there um, or I can redo the map if I want a, a bigger one or if I want a different one so that's encounters let me know down, down in the comments below if you have any questions uh, if you have any other beginner topics that you want me to talk about in the future i'll be happy to put those together i hope you all have a fantastic day i hope this was helpful and have a have a good one talk to you later bye